in previous videos i covered the topics of test plan and thread group in this video i will cover details on sampler in our first session of jmeter we discussed that jmeter is used for different types of applications like ftp web applications web services database connections and email services etc and these applications work on different protocols for example websites support http and https protocols email services support pop3 imap smtp protocols etc now if we talk about sampler and what is connection of these protocols to the sampler sampler is used to send different types of requests to different services in jmeter basically sampler is that element in thread group who actually sends the request to a server and waits for the response even you can decide in which sequence the requests must be sent to the server let's see how can we add sampler in jmeter project you can use sampler in particular thread group let's create thread group in test plan you can give any name to this thread group now we will create sampler in this thread group for that right click on thread group click on add you will see the first element as sampler and you will see different types of samplers supported by jmeter for various types of applications and each type of sampler has its own configuration for example this http request has its own configuration similarly this ftp request has different configurations and jdbc has different configurations you can select the particular sampler based on your type of application right now we will cover testing on website application so we will choose http request sampler because web applications support http and https protocols the configurations of http sampler are first is name you can give any name for example verify home page of website next we have comments this is kind of a description about the sampler for example verify that automation exercise dot com website is working fine and home page is launching successfully so you can give any comment next we have protocol so you can mention here whether your application is http or https so in protocol let's consider https next you can set value of server name or ip it is basically the domain name so we will give automation exercise dot com here you can specify the port number of your server for now let's leave it as blank next is http request type so for now we will use get otherwise you can use post head put delete any one you can select so for now let's select get request and you can give the path of url on which you want to send the request the path will be the suffix of url after domain name for example this is the domain name and the path will be if you are calling home page it will be slash but if you are calling the login page then it will be slash login or similar to other urls so for now we will test on home page so we will consider the path as slash
you can set the content encoding here otherwise you can leave it as blank these are the basic configurations to send request like protocol server name or ip http request and path other options you can use as per your specifications based on application type so let's run the script first with these configurations only to run it firstly we need to save this file if you try to run it it will show the pop up that firstly save this file so let's save it Let's, let's say test file dot gmx. So after saving it, to see the results, we need to add listener. I will cover all details on listener in next video, but for now, let's add listener. To add listener. right click on the sampler click add you will see listener here so for now i will add this view results tree so i have added the listener to particular sampler so this listener will work only for this sampler if you add the listener to thread group then you can use that listener for all elements present in that particular thread group similarly if you add the listener to the whole test plan then all thread groups within that test plan will share that listener for now i have created that listener for that particular sampler let's execute this sampler so here you see the sampler is performed verify home page of website and on the right side here is the sampler result so in the sampler result you see thread name sampler start time load time response code response message etc next we have request the request details set by you will be displayed here under request we have request body and request headers in request body as you see we send the get request to this website automationexercise.com and we are getting data without any cookies in response data you see the response and now how will you check whether you are getting correct response as per your expectations that we can check through assertions you can set the assertions on this response so i will cover details on assertions in next videos for now in this video we are just creating simple sampler setting basic configurations sending request and verifying that the request is successful and we are getting response data so this was the simple example of sampler request and the response we received i will cover further de details of sampler in next video like how can we use this check boxes and the parameters body data file upload so i will cover all the rest of the details in next video so thank you so much please subscribe the channel automation exercise